Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I would be explaining you how you can use the search function within Power App Canvas Apps. So to start with, I am using one Canvas app from blank. The phone layout. Alright, so we have this Canvas app now. So to start with, I'll use one control that is gallery. So because I would like to search on my gallery and I would like to connect this gallery uh, component uh, to one of my data source from SharePoint. So I'll just search for the SharePoint. I'll choose one of the SharePoint site and uh, one of the list which is product catalog. So it will automatically bind this gallery uh, control with my uh, product catalog list. So now I'll just shift it bit, uh, below so that I can have one input text control where that I would be using for searching. So I'll just change the hint text for this input button to something better. Search here. And I'll just uh, one I'll just drag one icon which says search so that it's more intuitive that it's a search box. Alright. So now we have one search box, we have our gallery connected to with SharePoint. Now we have to make this uh, gallery uh, to be searchable by input text from this input button. So I'll just change the formula within the items. If you see, I have selected items and in this item formula, I'll be using search function. This search function takes three arguments. One is source. So our source is this product catalog list. And then text. So as I said, I would be reading the text from the input button. We just import, just added input one uh, text and uh, here uh, we have to pass the column names from where we would like to make a search so i'll just pass title and uh, there were a couple of more columns in my list so i'll just okay quantity and price i'll add up these as well quantity and price so in this list you will be getting intelligence like what columns we are making uh, searchable <coughs> So I'm adding uh, price as well. You may have many other columns that you can just add, add those. So now you can see there is one yellow uh, warning icon is coming, which is uh, for the delegation that is giving warning that this uh, uh, the returning a data set would not be handled more than 500 records. So what that means is if my list is having, let's say 5,000 records, it will only search the uh, uh, the input text box within the first 500 so which obviously which is an incorrect result so I'll in later part of this video I'll explain how we can cater that how we can handle that with a workaround so for now because my list is very much cons constrained within uh, seven eight items so I'm good with it so I can just ignore that warning so now we are there I have added my search uh, function so I'll just run this app quickly so now you can see right now in my gallery I'm not getting anything which is a default behavior so if I will type something like printer I'll get one of the result if I just remove it I'll get all the results so it's a default behavior of this uh, filtering uh, the searching thing so now to the next part how we can handle this field this delegation stuff why this delegation warning we are getting so when we work with the SharePoint uh, as a data source SharePoint list as a data source this is a general warning we, which we are getting but with other data sources like Excel or CDS or any other external database we would not be getting any this sort of this warning and this is uh, because of the kind of uh, the data source being built so if you are working with anything external than SharePoint list you need not to worry about search function it will work ex as expected but with the SharePoint list, we have to, instead of search, we have to use the filter functions. I'll just tell you how we can use the filter function. 
so I am just removing this entire stuff so I will just add up the filter function so in filter function it takes again one source which is there and I can also associate uh, let's say I would like to search or filter by the starting start string which is appearing there with the start with method so I'm using start with which is a function which will take which will take the column and the start string where it would need to match that string input one dot text text okay so now we have changed the search function to filter function so now you can see we are not getting any warnings so I would recommend to use the filter functions when we are working with SharePoint list so for any other database uh, the search function will keep on working well so I hope uh, this search function and the filter function would be helpful for you in building out your canvas app with the uh, data sources where you would like to show many of the records and want to make that searchable Thank you.